doesn't, I thought, I'll do a video. <laughs> hey, guys. So, I'm in my uh, closet right now. These are my clothes. And this... What? <laughs> this is a foam roller. If you're an athlete, you need to get one of these things. It's the best thing ever. This literally... Um, a few years ago when I was doing a lot of weightlifting and stuff, I thought that um, I had basically like ruptured my knee. Um, like I was freaking out because I couldn't even walk. And all it was was super tight muscle. So I got a foam roller and rolled it out and it was really, really painful by the way. Um, but it fixed it. So that's that. And then I wanted to show you guys this. <clears throat> oh yes. Oh, that's, that's an old one. But here's all my Lenny and Larry's. Yes, I really eat a lot of these things. How many do I eat a day, babe? Two. See, I eat two a day. This is birthday cake. It tastes just like um, a cookie cake, which if you've been following me for a while, you know that cookie cakes are literally like, where are you going? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were going to be a part of this. Oh, well, I was hoping you did your thing. Oh, okay. Cookie cakes are literally like my favorite thing ever. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. Stop, babe. Ow, that hurts. Stop. You're about to be a part of this video. I want you to answer some questions. <laughs> babe, stop. No, no. Sorry. So I got a bunch of birthday cakes. What else have I got? Oh, yeah. This one. Oh, I can't grab it. Okay, snickerdoodle. Oh, man. This one is good. Oh, I can't grab it. Let me see here. Okay, this one's awesome. Oh, it has so many chocolate chips in it. And by the way, no, I'm not getting paid to do this. Like, I wish that I would get some free cookies from this place. Um, I just am obsessed with this company. Um, they're my favorite. So my top favorite are chocolate chip, birthday cake, double chocolate, snickerdoodle. Um, I think that's it. I don't really like all the other ones. But anyways, I've wasted two and a half minutes just not talking about anything important. But yeah, I wanted to do today's video about weight loss and tell you guys exactly some of my best tips for losing weight um, and how I lost 65 pounds. Um, so let's start. So I gained all the weight and if you haven't seen the first two videos, go back and watch those. It'll explain the whole backstory. But I got to a point where I was like, you know what? Like it's time to lose some weight. I just didn't feel good. Like I, did, I wasn't as active. I was just not living like a healthy type of life at all. Um, and plus I started dating my then boyfriend now husband and uh he wanted to get in shape too so it was kind of like all right cool you know like we'll do this together we'll be like little accountability partners or whatever um which is what we did and that's my first tip like i think if you want to lose weight um you need to get a partner like get your mom your sister your brother your whoever your husband your wife your whatever somebody in your family that also wants to lose weight to do it with you um because it's so much more enjoyable it's fun like you can encourage each other, you can support each other, that type of thing. Um, so we did this together and uh, basically what I did was first I stopped dieting, okay? Um, so I basically was just like, you know what? I'm not dieting anymore because I've gotten so overweight by doing this and I don't even have, I don't even know like what it, like, food is even more. Like I don't know what is healthy, I don't know what is unhealthy, I don't know what like, I'm scared of cookies now, and I used to eat cookies and enjoy them, and it never caused me any problems. Like, it was just so messed up. So I stopped dieting, and I actually started eating more, okay? Um, now, let me explain this, because I wasn't eating necessarily more calories. I was actually eating less calories, but I was eating more food. Um, so what I mean by that is, let's say, which I didn't count my calories, by the way, but let's say during the week of my diet, I was, on, I was eating like 1,500 calories, okay? And I ate that for five days straight. And then on the weekends, I binged and I had 5,000 calories on Saturday and 5,000 calories on Sunday. So that's 10,000 calories plus the 1,500 for the other five days. That comes out to be 10, 15, 16, 17, 17,500 calories for a week. Okay. Now the majority of those were on the weekends, right? Um, but that's what it was during the week. So when I um, started to stop doing that and let's say I just started eating normally all the binges stopped because I was eating more throughout the week um, and more throughout the day of each and every day I wasn't just like saving up for this huge binge then I was eating more but I was actually eating less so what I mean by that let's say that instead of eating 1500 calories a day and binging on 10,000 on the weekend 
Now I was eating 2,000 calories a day every single day, Monday through Sunday, okay? So you do the math. That comes out to be, uh, let's see, I don't even know the math. Let's say 14,000 calories, right? Um, as opposed to before, I was eating 17,500 calories for the week. So that's a difference of, what, 3,500 calories right there just by stopping the binging, stopping the dieting, and eating more every single day. Now, these are not hard and fast numbers. I have no idea. I'm just using this as an example because this is literally what happened to me. Um, so that's what happened. I stopped the dieting. Um, I just started eating. I started eating the foods and the amount of foods that I was eating before I even started dieting because I went back and I said, when did all of this start? All of this started when I started dieting, right? When I stopped eating carbs, when I stopped, when I started lowering my calories, when I started, um, you know, like just exercising way too much, that type of thing. So I went back and I said, if all of that has taken me here to where I'm just like crazy over the stuff, um, how can I, I'm just going to go back to the beginning. I mean, if it wasn't broken, I should not have tried to fix it because it wasn't even broken. So let's go back to what I did before. Um, so that's what I did. I just went back to eating the foods that I did before. Um, and I ate them in the same portions that I was before because before I had no issues. Like I wasn't overweight. There was nothing wrong with me. You know, it wasn't bad that I wanted to lose weight. Like maybe a pound or two would have been okay, but you know, not five, 10, 15 pounds when was too much for my body at that time. I didn't need to lose that much. Um, not only did I not need to lose that much, but I didn't need to lose it that quickly. Um, so losing weight very slowly is like the biggest tip I can give you. Um, also, what was I saying? Okay, so like I started eating um, the f foods I was before in like the right portions that I was eating before, but I also started making more like healthier conscious decisions. Um, you know, growing up, I never ate like a lot of fruits and vegetables and whole grains and that type of thing. I just kind of ate regular food. Like I didn't even like think about it. Um, but now I tried to be a little bit more conscious. So I was like, okay, like instead of, you know, like a bag of potato chips, I'm going to eat an apple or something. Or, um, you know, instead of like, um, you know, white bread, I'm going to choose wheat bread. Instead of, um, you know, fried food, I'm going to do baked food or whatever. And I just did that more often. Now that does not mean that I didn't eat fried food or I didn't eat um, white bread or I didn't eat, um, you know, cookies and cake and sugar like I did. But I tried to choose the healthier stuff more often. But I, like, I had learned my lesson. Like, I was not going to cut these things out anymore because I knew what that was going to lead to. I just realized laying like this makes my hair look like I have a mullet. That's funny. I knew that that was what that was going to do to me. So I was like, never again. You know, like, I am going to eat cookies if I want to. Um, I'm just not going to eat a whole, like, box of cookies. And the whole cookie thing was the same thing with, like, the calorie thing. So, you know, like I was saying... 1,500 calories a day and then 10,000 on the weekend is a whole lot more than just eating 2,000 every single day. Um, so it was the same thing with the cookies. Instead of never giving myself a cookie and then binging out on like 10,000 calories worth of cookies, why not just have one to two to 300 or whatever calories of cookies a day and then I don't feel deprived, I don't feel restricted, I don't feel like guilty, I don't feel, um, you know, like I don't beat myself up or feel really gross the next day and all that kind of stuff. It was just like, and not only that, like physically feeling, but mentally, like I was so tired of feeling like I was scared of cookies, but I love them at the same time, or I was scared of cake or any food, like bread or whatever. So I made sure to include like literally everything in my diet. It would just depended on how much I was eating of those foods. I was no longer eating like a ton of like just stuff all the time. So that was like the major thing that I did. Um, also at the time I started eating more um, like snacks like I would have breakfast lunch dinner two snacks and then like a dessert that was what worked for me then I don't do that now necessarily but for then it was good because it was like it got me used to eating again okay so another thing that, that we did was whenever we would go out to eat because we did continue to go out to eat um we would split a meal so like he would have like two-thirds of the meal I'd eat a third or whatever and we still have fun whereas before we were going out to eat and we were both getting like appetizers and entrees and desserts and like I mean we we're eating a lot of food um but now we were just like um splitting it you know and it saved money and that kind of thing we still got to go out to eat 
Uh, but even then, like, we didn't got to eat as much. So we still went, but we would go, we would save it for like a date or something, you know, and make it like special. And instead of that, we would eat at home. So I cooked like everything at home. And even for like during the work week and stuff or school, I packed my lunch. Um, he packed his lunch. Um, like, it just worked out better that way. We saved a ton of money. And, um, you know, we weren't just taking in so much food on our lunch breaks and stuff. Um, or going out for breakfast or whatever. Going out for dinner. You know, like, we just cook stuff. Also, I stopped trying to use things that would, like, suppress my appetite. So, I stopped taking, like, diet pills. I stopped um, drinking coffee and, like, fizzy drinks that would fill up my stomach. I stopped... Um, chewing gum. I stopped. Um, I even tried like smoking for appetite suppressant. Like I stopped that. Um, I stopped the skinny teas. Like all of those things like they're horrible for you. So I stopped all of them. And interestingly enough like the first week I remember I gained, I mean I uh, stepped on the scale and I had lost eight pounds. Like literally I lost eight pounds and I was like, oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. You know, I've been trying to lose weight for so long and all I needed to do was literally stop dieting and start eating foods in like the way that I was before. Like there was no, I mean, I had been doing it so wrong for so long, but I also was exercising a little bit, which I'll talk about later. Um, and uh, I'll tell you guys about the like strategic exercises I was doing to be sure that I continue to lose weight and I didn't make my issues worse. Um, also, I um, will tell you guys tomorrow about kind of like how I felt during the weight loss. Like, what was that like? What was it like to lose weight? Um, what did I do with my time? You know, like that type of thing. Because I think that's very important. Um, weight loss isn't just a physical thing. It's very, very emotional and it gets in your head. Like, it's a mental thing too. So I want to talk about that. Um, but yeah, that's what I did. Like, it was really, like, I'll explain more tomorrow, but it was pretty much effortless, to be honest with you. If you're struggling with the whole weight thing, um, those are my biggest tips. Like, that's where I would start. Um, but I'll get into more detail as we go along in this, but that's today's video. I know it's a little bit longer than normal, but, um, yeah. So that's that. Please like this video, share, and subscribe, and, um, I will see you guys tomorrow. So have a great night. Bye.